Did you know, the diesel pile drivers used in road construction, turned out to have the same principle of cooperation as the engines used in trucks and buses. Hello everybody, back on my channel. In this video, I'm going to describe how diesel hammer engines work. Just like truck engines, this engine consumes diesel fuel. This machine works by leveraging gravity and acceleration. For example, the machine that you see. It has a capacity of 10 tons. If we look at how this machine works, this machine only works up and down by hitting a pillar underneath it. However, something that moves up and down this weight is not lightweight. The weight of this iron block, reaching 10 tons. And then the question is, how does this 10,000 pound iron move up and down with lightly looked automatically? When this iron block moves up and down, it has two moves. The first is the up movement. It's caused by the combustion inside the cylinder space. The second is the down movement. This movement caused by the gravity. Well, to make it easier, we're talking from the start of the engine on. So, to turn on this diesel pile driver, First the iron block will be pulled up using the crane. Here, we'll see a cylinder shaped space. This space is tight on the top, and only has a hole at the bottom. In the position of the raised iron block, this cylindrical space will be filled with air. When the cranes release the iron blocks, then the iron block will fall due to gravity. When the iron block falls, air compression occurs inside the cylinder space. Air compression occurs because the volume of cylinder space is filled by the piston. The piston is a tube-shaped component that fills the cylinder volume. So, when a piston meets the volume, the air inside the cylinder space is compressed. Then, what's the purpose of compression in the cylinder space? It's used to create combustion. The explanation is like this, in the middle of the piston, there is an injector. Injectors are used to inject fuel. This fuel should be injected when the compression inside the cylinder chamber is at its maximum point. Why? That's because, compression will increase the temperature and pressure of the air inside the cylinder. When compression occurs, the temperature in this narrow cylindrical compartment exceeds 300 degrees Celsius while diesel fuel. It will experience auto-ignition at a temperature of 210 degrees Celsius then, what happens if diesel fuel is injected into the air at the temperature of more from its auto-ignition point? Diesel fuel will burn immediately. The result of the combustion is a push force. It will push the piston downwards, while it pushing the iron block upwards. This push, generating a push in the opposite direction. In the area of the pistons, there will be a push downward. Such a push is used to mount the pillar. While in the areas of the iron blocks, there's a push upwards. It will push this iron block in the upper direction. When the steel blocks bend upward, the combustion's residual gas in the cylinder room will immediately exit and be replaced with new air. So, when this iron block moves for the next phase, a similar process will take place. And that would create a reversal movement on this heavy iron. Next, how to provide fuel system. The fuel is injected through an injector located in the middle of the piston. Of course, to make diesel fuel injected, we need a high-pressure pump. This pump, located inside the fuel tank. If you curious where the fuel tank, this is the location. Inside this fuel tank, there's a high-pressure pump. The pump used is a piston-type pump. To pump it, 
we need to press this shaft. To press the shaft, there is a pump lever located on top of the pump. Uniquely, we don't need to pump this lever manually. Because next to the iron block, there's a bar that when it goes down, this bar will touch the lever and it press the pump spontaneously. This mechanism created diesel fuel to be pumped and sprayed out through the injector. Then how can we turn off the machine? In front of the pump lever, there's another lever. This lever is used to drag the pump lever position. So in a position like this, the pump lever can be pressed by the impact of the iron block. However, if we rotate the front lever, then the pump lever position slides forward. So, when the iron blocks go down, the pump lever will no be touched. It will prevent fuel to be pumped. So it will turn the machine off. So that's the mechanism of how the diesel hammer works. Hopefully adding insight to all of us.